Whether you're concerned about shopping during a pandemic or you just want to browse, today I'm going to find out the truth about shopping in retail clothing stores. ladies and welcome to today's video. I am so glad you made your way here. I have got a special treat in store for you. Today I have my daughter here with me. This is Abigail. Hi ladies. <laughs> so let me tell you in a minute why she's here but first of all I want to greet those of you who may be new here yourselves. I am so glad that you found your way here. My name is Kay. I'm a blogger. I blog at dressformyday.com where I simply encourage women, mostly 50 and above, to get dressed for our unique days so that we can show up in a big way and be the influential women that we are meant to be. So welcome. I'm so glad you're here. You also might want to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and check out my blog. Um, and be sure and subscribe to, to our channel here if you like what you see today, and I hope you do. All right, let's get on to today's topic and my guest. Today we are going to talk about shopping in that retail space, shopping in clothing stores specifically, because we love a good shopping time, don't we gals? I, I hope you do. You know what, some women don't like to shop, do they Abigail? That's true. But Abigail has actually been working in retail clothing stores for the last several years at some of your favorites. Abigail worked at Talbot's for a couple of years, and I know many of my viewers love Talbot's, Abigail, and you know that, right? And then recently, in the last year or so, she has been an assistant manager at Madewell here in Atlanta. And so she's been working retail again. So boy, she can give us the scoop on shopping retail clothing stores. So Abigail, anything else you wanna share with us about your job and what you do specifically at Madewell? Well, I do work at Madewell in Atlanta in a very um, popular place to visit in Atlanta, Ponce City Market. So it's a really fun and lively place to work. And I'm the events assistant manager. So I want to create unique experiences for customers to come in, have fun shopping. I really help with a lot of the sales and unique ways that we try to bring in our certain customers, whether they be teachers or students or moms. Um, I try to help have fun, help them have fun when they're shopping. And we're all for that, right, ladies? We love to have fun while we're shopping. But the truth is, is that right now we're in the middle of a pandemic, and so that's kind of put a damper on things, as Abigail well knows. <laughs> and then also, um, you know, sometimes we just feel a little awkward shopping in even our favorite retail stores. And so really my goal today is to help put us at ease. Um, the other day, Abigail and I were having lunch together. We were talking a little bit about the give and take between customers and the sales associates. Um, we got to talking about what their goals are and what the shoppers' goals are. And so I thought, you know what? We could just shed a little light on this topic and maybe make everybody feel a little bit more comfortable and make shopping fun again. So I really just have five questions that Abigail has promised to tell us the truth about. And so let's go ahead and get going on those five questions. All right, so Abigail, here's the first question. You know, when I walk into a retail space like Talbot's or Madewell or some of our other favorite shops, sometimes I am just wanting to browse and I kind of want to almost be unseen, but the first thing that happens when I walk in the door is the salespeople generally sometimes call across the store or they, they come up to me and they say hello and then they begin to ask me questions and sometimes I feel overwhelmed. And that's probably just me, it's probably not them, because what's really the truth behind all those questions? <laughs> yeah, so I love shopping on my days off or just browsing mm -hmm. around a store just mm -hmm. to look at pretty things or to see the new trends that are coming in mm -hmm. for the upcoming fall season. So when we welcome you, it's just so you know, like, hey, we know you're here and we're glad that you're here. Mm -hmm. You know, we were here getting everything ready, we have new clothes, and we're excited to share them with you. And we're excited to hear what you have to say about our new clothes. But also we know that sometimes you're just killing time or you're just, 
you know, wanting a little downtime from maybe your kids or your job. And so browse away. If you're not looking for anything particular, no worries. We just like our customers to know that if they need us, we're there for them. Okay, all right. I think we can deal with that, ladies, right? So, but piggybacking on that, talking about browsing, um, sometimes when I browse, I feel bad because I'm making a mess. Like, I, y'all, I wear a size medium for the most part, and you gals know, like I do, they stack things by size and so everything starts with an extra extra small and then you have to dig way down there to get to the mediums right. and everything's packed you know it's just you know so tidy and neat and then here I am just making a mess and so and yet I may not be planning on buying anything I might I might not what's the truth about that Abby is it okay <laughs> absolutely you're there to shop not put away clothes and tidy up that's <laughs> our job okay so if it if the nice pretty stack attracted you and made you want to pull out your size, mm -hmm. then we did a good job by presenting it well. Clothes look better when they're neatly folded, but we have no problem coming in behind you and just tidying up. We okay. don't, if we see someone digging through a pile, we honestly don't stress too much about it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe some people do, and sometimes it is a little stressful, especially when we've tried to offer assistance and we're like, we could get your size. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. But that's what we're here for. We want shopping to be easy and sometimes okay. moving a heavy stack of clothing right. seems awkward or cumbersome. Okay. So. All right. Well, very good. Well, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's move on to the next big question, especially in light of the fact that we are in this crazy pande pandemic that we're all so tired of. But as we start venturing out of our homes and going into the shops, um, sometimes we want to try things on and some of us don't. What a, let's talk first about those of us who do want to try things on or even just go to the store. Is it safe? Are you, and I'm assuming other retailers, probably taking the same kinds of measures? So maybe what kind of measures does your store take to make us feel safe and be safe, really be safe? And especially in the fitting room, what's that like? What's the truth <laughs> about shopping in the store and trying things on during a pandemic? Yeah, so shopping in the store has changed a little bit, just mm -hmm. like kind of everything has right. right now. And so when I go to work, honestly, I feel safe. I know that myself and my fellow co-workers were all taking extra precautions mm. to clean things, to be diligent. We wash our hands a lot mm. and we use a lot of hand sanitizer. <laughs> we also wipe down those dressing rooms after every single customer. Really? We wipe down the registers after every single customer okay. and we wear masks and we encourage all of our guests to wear masks even in the fitting rooms while they're trying on clothes. Okay. Because we know that we as women have tendencies to come out and grab that extra size, mm. or we want to come out and show our friend what we have on. We just think it's best to just keep the mask on. We know it's not okay. fun, but it's just what we're doing. Okay, well I really learned something because I have been taking mine off when I try things on, but I'm gonna to try to do better about that. I'm gonna to try to keep mine on even while I'm trying things on, because you're right. Then when you kind of want to come out and look at that community mirror, you sometimes have left it off accidentally. So that's a good idea. Well, thanks for that. And so what about those of us who don't want to try things on? So um, therefore we end up maybe needing to take two or three, two sizes, I guess, or maybe three, I don't know, home with us, or we, or we end up bringing things back. Is, is that okay? I mean, you know, it, a lot of this is just guilt inducing, I guess, unless we know the truth. So what is the truth about buying things without trying them on and thinking you may have to return something. So actually, that's not new to us. We have, oh. we have had so many <laughs> shoppers, they admit to us, I don't even like to shop or I definitely oh. don't like to try on in the store. Uh -huh. So many people want to go home and really see how a sweater or a dress fits into their wardrobe. And so they mm. take it home and we, you know, we all have our fingers crossed that it works. Sure. Um, and so we have curbside pickup if you want to place an order online and then we'll bring it out to you. Okay. Or you can pick up in store, have things shipped to us, okay, and then try on there. But not trying on, that's completely okay. We understand. So okay, well, very good. All right. So then that needs, leads to my next question. 
which is about returns <laughs> because it, I shop online a lot. And um, so sometimes I will buy two sizes, like you say, or I just, you know, some of my viewers maybe are not really familiar with Madewell's great jeans. And I know really Madewell is a denim store in many ways. And yet if we're not familiar with your jeans, jeans everywhere are just different, aren't they ladies? And so if we try a pair of jeans and they're not the right size, we've got to bring them back. And I always feel guilty walking into the store with that bag or with my package that I received it in or whatever and having a return. I'm always afraid that maybe it's going to hurt your store's bottom line, when, especially because I ordered it online, you know. So I don't want to mess up the salespeople who are working there. I don't want to have to feel guilty about it. What's the truth? Well, that's a good question. So the truth is online sales and online returns don't hurt us. Oh. So we're, we're happy that you came to us to return those things because maybe we can order you the right size. We're happy okay. to do that right there at the register. Make sure you get the same price, if not better, if okay. there's a new sale going on. Mm -hmm. And that way we can have that conversation of if there was something wrong with the item, meaning you know, I thought that the color was going to look a little bit brighter or mm. this shade of green didn't, you know, look like this when I saw it online. Okay. That's helpful information to us because when we love our online shoppers and we want them when they click on something that that be the exact item that shows up at their door. Okay. So I don't need to feel guilty oh, about bring returns. No. All right. One final question I have that we all want to know the truth on. So here's what happens sometimes too. You're saying that returns are okay and they don't hurt your bottom line. What about if I have bought something at home? I was so excited when I got it. I tried it on. I loved it. You know, I just thought, oh, this looks great. I was having one of those rare moments, <laughs> you know, when I thought everything looks great on me. I thought this looks great. So I ripped off the tags and I put it away. And then let's say a week later, I put it on to go somewhere and I realized, oh my word, this neckline is plunging. I didn't know that before. Or, oh my word, these jeans do not fit the way I thought they did. <laughs> the tags are off. What do I do? What's the truth about that? Well, the good news is we can put tags right back on. Oh, not a problem. Okay. Not a problem. I am guilty of that all the time. I just rip those tags off. I <laughs> know, because you're happy, right? Yes. <laughs> I got a new sweater or I got yeah. a new t-shirt and I love it and I just know it's going to fit because mm -hmm. this is the size I always buy. So right. it's going to work. You know, it's totally fine to bring things back because we really want our shoppers to be happy. We want mm -hmm. you to continue to love our brand and mm -hmm. made well, especially, and that's why I love my job is that we want our shoppers to feel good in what they're wearing and we don't want mm -hmm. the clothes to just sit in their closet. So always bring things back. Let us get you the right size. Um, you know, we don't encourage you to bring things back after six or seven months. Oh, well, no. no. We do have a return <laughs> policy and we try to sure. stick to that. Okay. But don't worry about it. Okay. We want to we wanna make sure that you're happy. Okay. Well, that's great to know, isn't it, ladies? Wow, that was so helpful, Abigail. I am really grateful. I, I think I will feel more comfortable now when I go to shop for several reasons, whether it's in the pandemic or I'm just wanting to browse, but the associates are asking me questions. I'll know that hopefully they're like you and they're genuine about wanting me to be there. So I hope that you got something out of this too. Boy, I really enjoyed having Abigail with me today, didn't you? Wasn't that fun? Um, I'll be sure to link everything that Abigail and I are wearing if it's still available in the description box below. I also have a treat for you there. Abigail has shared five truths about shopping in the brick and mortar stores with us today. I want to share with you five truths about shopping online. And you'll find those in my blog post today at dressformyday.com. So there's a link below to that in the description box. Also, if you subscribe to my daily or weekly newsletter, you'll have access to all my subscriber freebies, and there just might be one today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw here today. Thank you, Abigail, for being with me. Thank you so much for having me. You're so welcome, and thank <laughs> you for joining us. Goodbye now.